When we look at the aircraft that were developed during World War II and compare them to what we have today, we can say that our current technological aircraft would just take your breath away. So today we're going to take a look at the most insane aircraft that have ever been built in the world. What are these insane aircraft made of? What insane capabilities do they possess? Make sure to stick around and keep watching as we reveal these insane aircraft. Coming in at number 1, we have the Yokosuka MXY-7 Oka Cherry Blossom. The Yokosuka is a single-seat pilot-guided suicide fighter that was developed and manufactured by the desperate Japanese Empire for its Imperial Navy in order to halt the constant and increasing advance of Allied forces in the Pacific and, in the hope of forcing dialogue, to establish a ceasefire in the region. It was a scaled-down version of the original design made of wood over an aluminum frame to assist with decreasing weight and the requirement for military significance during World War II. The massive aircraft was propelled by three solid fuel Type 4 Mach 1 Model 20 rocket booster engines, each of which produced around 1,764 pounds of thrust. It is often referred to as the Man Bomb. In many ways, the Cherry Blossom appears like an over-the-top, sprightly orange burst from a space movie. But what's even more remarkable is that this unique aircraft was rushed into service and used to reconfigure the decks of multiple United States Navy ships. Each ship has a tremendous number of explosives, which is the majority of the time. Number 2. The Piaseki PA-97 Heliostat The Heliostat was a 342 feet long American heavy lift aircraft built by Piaseki by hooking or joining four H-34J helicopters to a framework underneath the helium inflated blimp envelope. The single but unique prototype was lost during its flight test, killing the test pilot and injuring four others in the course of the accident. Number 3. The Heinkel HE-177 Grief During World War II, the Luftwaffe used was a HE-177 as a long-range heavy bomber to attack targets over a large area. The development of the HE-177 for combat operations was substantially slowed down by a number of issues related to its manufacturing and engine design, as well as repeated modifications to the aircraft's mission requirements. No matter how you look at it, it was the first long-range bomber to ever enter service with a Luftwaffe during World War II. The bomber's payload range capabilities were equivalent to those of four engine bombers used by the Allies in the European theater of operations. The HE-111 was capable of transporting large cargoes and was quite broad with a plan form of 30 meters or 90 feet. Number 4. The Boeing B-52 Stratofortress Dr. Strangehate the Boeing 52 Stratofortress is an American long-range subsonic jet-powered strategic bomber. This massive aircraft was built by Boeing, which has continued to build various outstanding aircraft and launch vehicles. It has been operated by the United States Air Force USAF, since the 1950s. The bomber is capable of carrying as much as 70,000 payloads of weapons. That's about 32,000 kilograms of weight. It has a typical combat range of more than 8,800 miles without aerial refueling. The B-52 design evolved from a straight-wing aircraft powered by six turbo-propellant engines to the final prototype YB-52 with eight turbojet engines and a swept wing. The B-62 took its first flight in 1952. It was built to carry nuclear weapons for the Cold War era deterrence missions. After all its service within the last decades, it has been upgraded between between 2013 to 2015, the last airplanes expected to serve into the 2050s. Number 5. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II Joint Sunk Cost Fallacy Designed and developed for ground strikes and air superiority operations, the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II is a family of single-seat, single-engine, all-weather, stealth, multifunctional aircraft that are all weathered and stealthy. A number of contractors, including Northrop Grumman, Pratt & Whitney, and a few others, worked with Lockheed Martin in the development and design of the aircraft. The F-35 is available in three primary configurations. The conventional takeoff and landing F-35A, CTOL, the vertical landing and takeoff F-35B, STOVL, the catapult assist takeoff but arrested recovery F-35C, carrier-based, and the catapult assist takeoff but arrested recovery F-35D, carrier-based, CATOBAR. The F-35's design and manufacture are primarily funded by the United States, with extra financing coming from other NATO members and close U.S. partner countries. In terms of size and cost, the F-35 was the biggest and most costly military-funded program in history. It also became the subject of intense scrutiny and criticism in the United States as well as other parts of the world. In their view, design defects were introduced into the aircraft during its construction. The United States, on the other hand, has indicated its intention to purchase 2,663 F-35s, which will supply the vast majority of the crude tactical air power of the United States Air Force, Navy, and Marine Corps during the next few years. The delivery timeline for the F-35 is set to continue until 2037, with a projected service life of up to 2070. Number 6. The Feisler Fi-103R Reichenberg the Feisler Fi-103R, 
was a late World War II German manned family of the V-1 flying bomber. At first, it was designed and developed for attacks that most likely would cost the life of the pilot, but in missed times, the pilot might eventually escape by parachuting down towards the attack site or zone. Such a mission was to be executed by the Leonidas Squadron V. It is 26 feet long with a wingspan of 5.72 meters. It weighs 2,250 kilograms and has a power speed of 650 kilometers per hour at about 8,000 feet, and a maximum speed of about 800 kilometers per hour. They are also equipped with 800 kilograms of high-explosive warheads. This aircraft can be referred to as suicidal aircraft because it is only flown by the suicide squadron. Crazy, right? What's more insane is what the volunteers are always required to sign. The volunteers were required to sign the declaration that stated, I hereby voluntarily apply to be enrolled in the suicide group as part of a human glider bomb. I fully understand that employment in this capacity will entail my death. However, during a quest to use the aircraft against Allied shipping, the project was revived by Hitler, and the F. I-103 was reappraised and adopted for a particular project, as it seems to offer the pilot a slim chance of surviving. Number 7. The Chironovsky BIC-21 the Chironovsky BIC-21 is a tailless racing aircraft designed and developed in the Soviet Union in 1938 by Boris Ivanovich Chironovsky. To compete in the 1941 Osevikim All-Union Air Races, Chironovsky followed the successful innovative idea he designed in the BIC-21. He built the smallest possible aircraft to embody the Renault 6 inline MV6 engine and cockpit at the leading edge of the fin. The inverted gull wings allowed a shorter, pneumatically retracted tailwheel undercarriage to be fitted at the junction of the interior and exterior sections of the wings. It was 4.74 meters long with a wingspan of 6.9 meters. It has a speed of 417 kilometers per hour and a total weight of 640. 43 kilograms. The Fugo Outward the Fugo Outward, also known as Fire Balloons, was a weapon launched by Japan during World War II. It was a hydrogen balloon that with a payload varying from about 15 kilograms of anti-personnel bombs to one 12 kilogram incendiary bomb and four 5 kilograms of incendiary devices attached. These balloons were designed as a cheap weapon to make use of the jet stream over the Pacific Ocean and drop bombs in American cities, forests, and farmlands. The balloons were intended to cause fear and terror throughout the United States. Number 9. The Piaggio P-7 the Piaggio P-7, also called the Piaggio Pena PC-7, was an Italian racing seaplane designed and built by Piaggio for the 1929 Schneider's Trophy Race. The design and development were due to the idea of trying to build a craft with the tendency to avoid the aerodynamic drag brought about by floats and seaplanes of the float plane design. Number 10. The Fly-Powered Art Aircraft Warps Factory Build the fly-powered art aircraft is powered by an advanced aircraft engine called the Warps engine, built by Rensselaer. With the combined effort of a few engineers, the Warp engine was invented efficiently. The crankcase was forged as two halves, the split between them coinciding with the plane of the all-steer cylinder. Accessories were grouped in the back, leaving the front of the engine clean. It was the succession of the design features, although none individually new, but novel in combination, that created the engine of maximum power and minimum weight. These insane aircraft are really beyond comprehension and go above and beyond the usual. What are your thoughts in this insanely weird aircraft? Remember to leave your thoughts in the comment section below.